Hi, this is Maria. Welcome back to our channel. I am really excited to show you the A5 Daily Duo from Erin Condren that has the Mohawk paper, as well as my A5 Hobonichi that has a Tomo River paper. The reason why I'm here is because I want to compare both of them. And I want to do this in a fair comparison. This is an A5, like I said, Erin Condren. It is Daily Duo, and I am not here to do a fl flip through, but I will show you that it does have a monthly spread as well as daily pages, right? So this one is a July start. It has your dashboard and then daily pages from there on. And then same thing for August, September, October, November, December. So this right here is a six month book, right? Or spiral planner. And then the next part is right here. So this is July to December, and this would be January to June. Yes, January to June. So this right here, monthly spreads with daily spreads. Beautiful paper, I absolutely love it. I love the smell. I love the feeling. It seems just too professional. I, I just love it. I wish it was in the floral design, but that's a story for another day. I just want to make sure that you know that this is an A5 as well as a Hobonichi, but here's the big difference. Well, the number one big difference is obviously the paper, which makes this, this right here super compact. This one right here is an A5 Hobonichi Cousin Planner, and it is also the same size, just subtract the coil, right? And then, this is a 12 month planner, okay? So here you have 12 months worth of daily pages. Here you have 12 months of daily pages as well, plus more. So give me one sec, we'll get there. Then I want to show you the six month Hobonichi because they do have an effect, which means six months, so half year. So let me go ahead and remove. This is the one I'm currently using. Let me remove this, and I do sticker this one up a lot. So this is a six month, and when I sticker it, it kinda, you know, it's thicker, but let me show you one that is not sticker. I guess that is a fair comparison. This one is my faith journal, so I really just, honestly write on it pen and paper so no stickers and this is why it's not thick at all but i do use this one as my faith journal and then this one will begin in july so let me pull this one i think this will be a best my best choice right now i should have just taken this one out instead of this one so this is what it looked before i stickered it so this is a six month here and this is a six month again this is a six month daily and more this is a six month daily monthly spread okay so here we go a5 a5 six month 12 month a5 a5 six months six months okay now here is what i want to show you this not only has your monthly spread, I kind of already started stickering it. So here's the spread. And as you can see, you can see the stickers on the next page, which to me, I love. And I love when I write on it, you can actually feel the writing on the other page or whatever page is behind. I do use what we call pencil boards here, but I honestly really love the feeling of the writing behind it. Just makes me feel like it's been loved. I love the whole ASMR that this gives me. It is amazing. So it has a monthly. This one also has, so all the months in the front, you have all six months and a little bit more because it's in a vac, so it gives you a little bit more. And then it goes into your weekly spread. I want to say this is, a, yeah, so monthly, and it goes weekly, and you have six months of this entire thing and you don't get tabs but you do get the colors here so that will be july august september october november december so you do get that and after your weekly spreads you get 
the daily pages. So you have an all-in-one planner just here. Super, and if you're, you're only like pen and paper, no stickers, this is really what it will look like because I have been loving this one. As you can tell, you can't really even see that I used it. And I really have. I use it daily except for one month that I was in the hospital. But other than that, it's been used, it's been loved. And you do, if you don't use stickers, like I said, it won't really get, I mean, you can tell that it's been used like this, but it won't get any thicker, I don't think. So here we go. Now, to be fair with these, because of the Tomo River paper in these and the Mohawk paper being so much thicker than that, then I will make a fair comparison. So what we're missing from this one technically is your weekly spread because the Hobonichi does offer that. Now, of course, this one has dashboards, so on and so forth, but this one also has like a yearly index at the beginning. It has also the year at glance. So, you know, that would be tantamount to each other, I guess, replacing those pages. But here is one where I have the monthly spreads and then it is weekly spreads, right? In the Tomo River paper. So to be fair, I have an entire year of dailies. I have an entire year of the weekly spreads with the exception of course we have the tabs or the monthly spreads in here but like i said this one has a lot more in the back too so let's compare it to this one because we're talking here now year of dailies and monthlies and year of monthlies and weekly spreads and then this is a year of daily monthly weekly spreads notes in the back um it has a yearly index it has informational pages in the back. So I think now this is a fair comparison. So the only reason I wanted to really do this is because as a newbie, uh, it was really hard for me to know what I really wanted. And planning systems change all the time because your life changes all the time. Um, now, especially if you're in the planning community, I guess I should say that. But I don't want you to think that if you were looking into an A5 or if you were thinking Hobonichi or Erin Condren, that this is a fair comparison. This would not be a fair comparison because this has everything in it. This one is just six months of dailies and monthlies. This one is an entire year of daily, monthlies, and weekly spreads, if that makes sense. So hopefully that helps you. And I guess I'm just trying to do this for the newbies, like I said, or maybe even someone that has not tried the Hobonichi, or maybe you have a Hobonichi and you want to try Erin Condren, just know that you do have, you first of all, you don't have weekly spreads here. Some people uncoil them and then add pages. I want to say now they do have an A5 horizontal weekly spread. So you might want to do that to this one, or you may want to add dailies with this one. I don't know if they have the A5 wide this year, if they release it. I know for sure this one is it. But you know, there are many ways that you can work around this, but just know the amazing Mohawk paper in this. It's what makes it thicker, but like I said, it's all worth it, it's all professional, it's beautiful. And I love both companies a lot, and it's just nice, they're very nice. This one's smooth, it can take a lot. Let me tell you, it takes markers, it takes pens, it takes watercolor. It's a tough paper, it's like Bible paper, but it's super tough, like it takes a lot. So don't be scared of trying out the Hobonichi uh if you haven't and if you want to give it a try there's also like weeks which are cheaper the whole two weeks if you want to try just that there's also notebooks that have tomo river paper and amazon like if you want to give it a try um you can see so let me show you one of my lists here in the back see and you can really uh, feel the texture of the pen that I wrote behind this page or right in front of this page and of course you can see all the shadowing and the ghosting so I, I i love it that's part of the reason why i buy hobonichi so just know that it is doable and it is just very nice and i thought i would just do this video to show you that and to maybe give you some choices for the upcoming year and also because hobonichi like 
releases are September so that way you kind of get an idea and maybe like you want to hold on on these you know because these really don't run out of stock I don't think I've ever seen them but Hobonichi's do especially if you get into the covers and I'm obsessed with like covers or whatever but um yeah that's that I just wanted to share that I hope this is helpful to you guys if it is please let me know that this helped you if you want to know more or ask questions about it that I didn't cover here then let me know and I am more than happy I love you guys take care thank you so much for being here God bless bye